Hello guys and gals. Um, back again with another video for my YouTube uh, exclusive. Uh, I'm giving you guys my, I guess, a video review. I don't know, not really a video review. But anyway, I'm giving you my review on the new Xbox, Xbox experience um, that just came out a couple days ago. Um, so as you can see here, um, I'm just scrolling through the top, um, the main, I guess, little channels, I guess. You got Spotlight, My Xbox, uh, the Marketplace, your friends, and Inside Xbox, and events, and all that. Um, but now, if you go to the Marketplace at all, it's a lot easier to uh, find, like, everything that you could possibly want. You got, they got better categories, you can now search through by letter. Um, it's a lot easier to use. It looks a lot cooler. It's just pretty awesome to see. You also have a new thing uh, called premium themes. And premium themes are basically like themes, except they actually change the background of your friends' pictures. I'll explain it a little more. It's kind of hard to explain. I think you have to pay a little extra. As you can see here, you can now search games by title. And then, let's say you saw a game such as Dead Rising, or maybe, I don't know, Dig Dug, quite possibly. You know, Dig Dug, little Dig Dug action. Anyway, so let's say you wanted to check it out. You could search, uh, it loads a bit, but you can actually look at some images now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty tight. Um, you can also look at details of the game, the description, uh, the featured downloads, and you can dig dug buy or get trial game. So yeah, it's basically the marketplace, a lot easier to use and navigate, a lot, just a lot better. Um, now new in Xbox Live, uh, a video marketplace. You got Netflix now, so you can you actually have to download like a special Netflix thing. For it, and then you can just stream videos live. So this is the new friends list. It looks a lot better now. The pictures behind the friends, the avatars, those are that's part of the premium theme. It actually changes that. Not much to it. But as you can see here, you can now have um, probably the biggest thing about the new Xbox experience is the avatars and the party system now. And um, right now I'm in the inside Xbox. This is basically what it looks like now. And it also has an archive now, so if you press X, you can look at IGN Strategize or Insider Moves, Majors Minute, OXM Report, Pick Up and Play, more videos, all that stuff, which is really cool. So, yeah, and uh, events basically just tells you some upcoming things like Gamer Chicks, Ladies' Night, you know play and win, all that stuff. And then they got Spotlight, and the biggest thing probably is my Xbox. From here you can choose to play your game, your videos, your music, um, your Windows, whatever it's called, I don't remember. But I'm just going to show you guys a video real fast to see you. It's not much different, but actually if you bring up the new menu it looks a little cooler. I, in my opinion, I like it. Just a bit of a new flair, everything's about the same. Pause it, back up, all that. Fast forward, it also loads a lot faster now, which is nice. Um, you don't get as much buffering sque screens. So, um, yeah. Um, obviously, um, the biggest thing overall, though, but is the party system and the avatars now. Here's what you get if you press the guide button. This is probably the closest thing you're going to get to the old dashboard. Um, from here you have quick launch, which is very cool. Um, quick launch, essentially, you can just um, choose any game that's in uh, your downloaded to your hard drive. Let's say an Xbox Live Arcade title like down here. So if I choose Quick Launch and I want to play Geometry Wars 2, bam, I click that. And it automatically brings me directly to the game. I don't have to wait for it to load. It's very fast, very nice, um, which I like a lot. So that's very cool. And bam, instantly I'm playing Geometry Wars. So let's see. I'll do another Quick Launch here. Just go to All and wait for it to buffer a bit, then let's say I wanted to play some Portal. 
So, I'll do that, hit yes, and boom, instantly I am there. Portal's still alive. Yeah, so, if I could say this real fast, um, biggest thing, overall, everything's, not, there isn't anything that's going to totally blow you away. Um, avatars are cool, um, you can dress them up, which I will provide a video for. Um, I will provide a separate video to show you guys the avatars. Um, but also, the new party system is also pretty cool. You can have up to eight people talking at once, and you can all be playing different game. So that's pretty nice. I like it. <clears throat> but really, those are the only two major things that are new. And Netflix, I guess, if you're a Net movies fan, if you have Netflix. And up in the top right, those three avatars, that's how many people are in the party right now. And from here, you can view your friends list. Takes a couple of seconds to load, actually, because I immediately went from my game to my friends list very fast. So it doesn't have all that time to buffer, but whatever. So there's your friends list. It's a bit harder to tell what your friends are playing now. But, um, you know, oh well. Ouch. So yeah, there's your friends list, there's your party. Brand new separate uh, tab for it. So it tells you what they're playing and tells you who the host, and some party options, invite players to party, whatever. It's very neat, very neat feature. Um, messages, you know, you can still delete them, create new, whatever. It's still pretty much the same. And recent players. It also tells you how many people are online. So uh, as you can see there, 17 people are online. Uh, you can go to chat and I am, and you can immediately just play Call of Duty World at War, which is in my hard drive at the moment. If you go over to the left, you got the games, uh, Blade. You can look at your achievements, you know, whatever. Go to your game library, and actually, if you go to your game library, it brings you to your arcade games. And then you can also, another cool thing is, you view active downloads. Um, but another cool thing is, if you go all the way to the Marketplace tab, and let's say you wanted to search the Xbox Live Marketplace, you can search game demos, and... Boom, and instantly brings you to the game demos section. New arrivals, so yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, and then you got your uh, media tab and your settings tab. You can edit your profile from there. Do notifications, turn them on or off. Preferences, online status, voice, vibration, family settings system settings, and yeah, that's about it. So, um, overall, there's nothing that's gonna really completely blow you away. Um, the biggest things that I noticed, however, that I really liked were the avatars and the new party system. Even though the avatars don't do that much, sure, you can dress them up, use them as your gamer picture if you want, and they don't really do much. They're very much like, um, I guess the Wii's. You can play them in a couple games. I'm sure they're gonna have more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, new Xbox experience. It's really good. Uh, everything's perfect. So yeah, see you guys later.